Australian prisons are among the most expensive in the world, and while our population grows rapidly, so do the costs. These are some of the findings in a report by the Institute of Public Affairs released today. It's suggested that despite a high expenditure in our prison system, Australians don't feel any safer. Joining us now from Melbourne is Research Fellow at the Institute for Public Affairs, Andrew Bushnell. Thanks for your time this afternoon. Why is it so expensive to house an inmate in Australia compared to other OECD countries? So what we know is that uh, in Australia we spend uh, the fourth most per prisoner per year of, of any OECD country. Uh, the reasons for this are, are various, but and they range from the, the high costs of, of prison labour uh, to the costs of construction for prisons here, but also because Australian prisons are already very generously resourced for rehabilitation, and Australia properly belongs in the in the top bracket. For, for developed countries spending on, uh, on prisons. And so what's, what's interesting about that is that we're not necessarily getting the results you might expect from that expenditure. So by that phrase, you mean prisoners aren't reforming at the rate we would hope for that kind of money? That's, that's right. Australian, Australian prisons have proven uh, over the last uh, decade or more to be quite ineffective in correcting people's behaviour. 58% of all prisoners have been in prison before. Uh, more than 50% uh, of prisoners who are released return to the correction system in some manner or other uh, within two years. So the investment we're putting into uh, corrections, and in particular prisons, is not paying a dividend in terms of community safety. Australia generally, by world standards, is deemed a, a relatively safe country. Did your study confirm that finding? Australia is a, a safe country, uh, and yet um, Australians do not report feeling safe. Uh, so in a series of international polls done uh, for reported feeling of safety in a suburb at night, uh, Australia ranks quite poorly, always in the bottom 10 over four consecutive polls over the last 10 years, and as low as 24th among developed countries. So again, this uh, community safety dividend that you might expect is not feeding through to people's perception of the crime problem. So we're spending a lot of money but we're still scared. What does that say about the effectiveness of our justice system? Well, it says that we could be doing a lot better. The, it's not just uh, spending on prisons. Uh, we've also increased spending on our police. We are now uh, among the more heavily policed co developed countries in the world. Um, and our the number of police per 100,000 has increased quite a lot at the same time that we've increased spending on prisons. And this is governments obviously responding to uh, people's concerns about crime. And yet we're not, seeing, uh, we're not seeing the public reporting that they feel safer. So there's a number of things that we, that we might do differently, including punishment reform for non-violent offenders and targeting our uh, police resources more effectively. Okay. Some interesting findings indeed, Andrew Bushnell. Thanks for taking us through them. Thank you.